Hello, Internet. I wish I was coming to you with a more positive story this evening, but unfortunately I can't do that. The particular incident that I want to talk to you about this evening happened in 1984, and normally when you hear about news stories breaking or anything along those lines, it's not from <laughs> 1984, it's normally from 2009, maybe 2008, something recent, very new. This story is a little disturbing, and so... I'm going to gradually get into it, but as you can already tell from the title, it is of a serious nature. And I'll just, I'll jump right into it from there. Bobby Joe Blythe was a martial arts instructor, and in 1984, particularly the D December 13th of 1984, there was, an, there was a video account that he had recorded in his dojo, and what had happened, I'll, I'll just go ahead and describe it, I'm not going to show the video in my account and I'll leave the link on the sidebar over here if if you really want to see it I don't recommend that you do and we'll talk about that in a little bit as to why anyways in this video it opens with Bobby Joe Blythe in the center and on on in focus on the camera and he's motioning to two uh, people in in the arena and he points out that one is his student and the other is a man who claims he was trained by Jesus Christ in the martial arts and he's a red belt or something of the such. From that point, Mr. Blythe carries a sarcastic tone towards the entire event, which this young man has been claiming that he's, he's trained by Jesus Christ. And so he provokes him in a way that's saying, let's, let's, we all want to be uh, trained by someone who's been trained by Jesus Christ. We all are here for education, and so if you've really been trained by Jesus Christ, we're all interested in seeing what you have to offer. And you can just tell by the tone of his voice that he's, he's making a mockery of the entire thing. And you can obviously tell also that the young man who's claiming to be trained by Jesus Christ is mentally impaired. A lot of times that's very popular among... Um, mental patience is that they have delusions of grandeur and there's there's just a lot of different categorizing with different mental illnesses and that's definitely one of the symptoms of certain illnesses is that you have delusions of grandeur and a lot of you probably already know that from different psychology courses that you've taken the mentally impaired young man uh, claims that he will show them moves that Jesus Christ taught him different martial arts techniques and Mr. Blythe says go ahead and practice them on my student here and uh, he says, I won't show you on him, I'll show you around him. He goes, I'm not a fighter. And he continually says this through the video. He says, I'm not a fighter. And so as uh, this mentally impaired young man goes forward to start doing any moves that he was going to do, uh, the attacker, whose name is Willie J. Dennis, proceeds to press the mentally impaired young man into an uncomfortable position because they're getting so close to each other. And so he, he, the Willie J. Dennis kicks at the mentally impaired young man and he keeps throwing kicks trying to hit him in his testicles like kicking between his legs. And the mentally impaired young man at this point yells, don't do that, don't you do that, stop, don't do that again, don't do that anymore. And it's all in the video and the reason that I'm uh, recounting the video for you is is because you, you won't want to see this and I'm going to go ahead and talk about what the rest of the video contains and then from there on you can decide whether or not you want to watch the video or if you don't want to watch it. I did and it literally made me sick. The entire rest of the day it was on my mind. The weekend was pretty much shot because I watched this video and I'm not someone that's sensitive towards content and video especially if it's people throwing up and other people you know I some people just are very sensitive towards that and they're like, I can't do that, I can't watch it. I don't mind. I mean, it's nothing that I look at like, oh, I'm going to go watch a video of someone puking their guts up. It's not something that I search out, but if it's something that's up and it's gotten to be some big media hype, I'll say, what the heck is this? I'll go watch it. This hasn't been a media hype, this video of Mr. Bobby Joe Blythe, and that's one thing that I'm bringing it to you for. Uh, I did watch it and I was disgusted. Very few things in this world will disgust me to where I have to look away. And this video was one of those things. I mean, it was on my mind heavily, and it was just very sick. But to continue on with what happened in the video, they proceed to fight, and the mentally impaired young man is forced into fighting because he's being attacked. And on countless occasions throughout the video, he concedes and says, You've got it! You've got it! 
or you're really good, you're really good, I'm done, or something like that. He's just saying that I'm done with this, I don't want to fight. And continually he says that, and for a while he puts up a little bit of a good fight, but eventually he's backed into a corner, he's, he's down, he's fallen down, and they push him back out to fight uh, this man named Willie J. Dennis. And from then, Mr. Dennis uh, proceeds to knock the mentally impaired man down, and then he, he kicks him several times in the neck, and then he tries to stomp on his neck, and eventually he does stomp on the man's neck. And it's, it's a very... From then on, all you can hear is rasping the air from this young man that's mentally impaired. He's breathing really heavy because you can tell it's just like a death gasp. He's dying, and you know from that point in the video what's happened. And I, I don't get emotionally worked up over many things, but this is one thing that just really bothered me. Because everyone in that room watched a murder take place, and they did nothing about it. And from the information that I gathered later, well, I'll, I'll continue with that in a moment. What happened afterwards, he started to bleed from his face and from other places on his body. And Bobby Joe Blythe intercedes at this point. He says, drag him out the back, drag him out the back. And from then, uh, two of the students, I don't know if it was Willie J. Dennis or not, I'll have to watch the video again, which I really don't want to. I don't think I will. Uh, they drag him. Two students drag uh, the young man out the back door, and there's a trail of blood going along with the path that they dragged him out. And the camera's shut off, and then it opens again, and it's Mr. Blythe's voice in the background, and he's saying, now this is the trail of the black belt who was trained by Jesus Christ as he leaves my dojo. Pretty much just being a real douche about the entire process and, and bragging about what he's instructed his students to do and what they are. And, and one thing that I heard in some of the threads, one thing that I, I found in there is that um, Bobby Joe Blythe was in the Marines. He was in the Marines Corps. I don't know if he was a sergeant or what. That's one thing that I heard. And if you know about this story, go ahead and comment below about what you know of it. And we'll get all of our facts together and see what's right and what doesn't seem to be right. Afterwards, uh, Mr. Blythe comes on camera again and he says, This is December 13th, 1984, at around 7 o'clock. And he's just talking about the entire event. And then he shows blood on the outside of the building where they've dragged him out. And from different comments, I've heard that he, the, man, the young man was found in the back dumpster but the police never reported the crime, obviously, and Mr. Blythe never answered on any charges for this, neither did any of his students. An account that I heard of is that this mentally impaired man had gone to the local mall that day. If it was in Virginia, it seems that that's where it took place, but he had uh, he'd gotten into some women's purses, and the police had been called about this, and they had tried to apprehend him, but maybe he ran away. The facts aren't clear on this, and I don't know where this information came from. It was just on one of the posts, and it, it made a little bit of sense, and so I'm reporting it as I've heard it. Later that day, the, that same mentally impaired man went into a business across the street from the dojo and told the owners that he would be teaching at that dojo later that evening because he had been trained by Jesus Christ and the owners of the business said, oh, I don't know if you know the owner over there or not. He's not anyone to mess around with. He's pretty serious. And he said, I know I'm training because I'm, I'm going to train them as Jesus Christ trained me. So he went in there and obviously from there we can assume that what happened was not anything good. That he said his, his piece to the dojo owner, Bobby Joe Blythe, and they reacted as such by killing him taking his life and throwing his body in the back dumpster. So from here, you might be asking, you know, Perry, why are you reporting this story? And the clear fact of why I'm reporting this story to you is so that it can be shared and that other people might know of this incident. I don't know what anyone out there might know as an addition to this story, but if you do know anything, please post a comment below. I won't feel as though you're correcting me. I would like to know more about the story myself. I've read as much as I could, as much as was made available to me, and I would like to know more. I'm trying to keep posted on what's going on in this case. I know that a news station had picked it up in the local area of maybe Virginia. I'm not sure. I know the video is on YouTube, and I'll have to look into that. But the reason I reported this is so that this story might be heard, and from there I would ask that all of you send this video to everyone that you know. Send this video that I'm posting right this moment 
to everyone in your contacts list on YouTube, on your email, on Facebook, on MySpace, any social networking site that you use, email or not, send a message to everyone that you can and allow them to watch this video and allow the word to go forth because like I said I wouldn't know about this story had it not been for the people that shared it with me and so I'm just furthering on the favor by sharing the video with you and with other people. Please share this story in any way possible and hopefully Bobby Joe Blythe will be brought to justice. This is something that needs to be heard and since I don't have a lot of time I'd like to end it there. Again, share the story and may justice ring in this nation. Hope all's well in your neck of the woods.